Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'll be showing you what's needed and how to complete each task of the Kren and Cabo's hard diary. I'll be going to the order that's presented in the diary, and you can see the timestamps in the description below for each task. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if this video helps you out. For each task, I will tell you what skills, quests, and items are needed. You can also see the items, requirements, and timestamps now in the description below. Elise is the taskmaster for Kren and Kebos, and she can be found in the southeast corner of the Kren Castle Courtyard. You do not need to speak with her to start the diary, but you will need to talk with her once you complete all 10 hard tasks to collect your reward. For the hard diary, you will need the following skills. 70 smithing, 60 woodcutting, 65 mining, 74 farming, 49 thieving, 62 slayer, and 66 magic. You also need to have completed the following. Architectural Alliance mini quest, which requires 100% favor in all houses, the Dream Mentor quest, and the Forsaken Tower quest. The items needed are Adamant Ore, 6 Coal, some combat equipment, any pickaxe, a light source, a seed dibber, Xerix Talisman, a Lizardman Fang, one Cosmic Rune, one Astral Rune, one Mind Rune, and a lockpick. I will now show you where and how to complete each task. For our first task, we need to enter the Woodcutting Guild. The Woodcutting Guild requires 75% or higher Hasidious favor, as well as 60 or higher woodcutting to enter. The fastest way to get here is to use a skills necklace and teleport to the Woodcutting Guild. Once you get here, all you need to do is open the gate, and once you are inside, the task will be complete. Task number two is to smelt an adamant bar in the Forsaken Tower. You'll need to bring one adamant ore and six coal. You'll also need to have 70 or higher smithing. To get into the Forsaken Tower, you'll need to have partial completion of the Forsaken Tower quest. And to use the furnace, you'll need to repair it in the quest. You do not need to complete the quest to complete this task. Once you fix the furnace, go ahead and smelt furnace. Select adamant ore option. And once you smelt the bar, the task will be complete. For task number three, we need to kill a Lizardman Shaman in Mulch. This requires that you have 100% Shazian House favor. I would also suggest that you bring Shazian Armor 5, though it is not needed. It is very highly recommended, as well as some good armor and gear to kill the Shamans, as they are level 150. Shamans are located underground in the Lizardman Temple. To enter the temple, go to any one of these four dungeon icons, and you'll be in the temple. Once you go down that icon, you actually can't go up, so the only exit is on the west side right here, where my mouse is, just to the south of my character. All right, once you get here, you're gonna to want to enter through the mystical barrier. It is single combat. And you cannot use a cannon here. So make sure you're potted up. And hug the wall like a normal shaman kill. And once you kill the shaman, the task will be complete. Do note that if you enter and exit the barrier enough, the door will change colors. And eventually, you'll start taking damage just by going through the door. So don't go back in and out too much, otherwise you will get hurt. See, I got hit at 10. Eventually it turns red and it'll hit 20s. Task number four is to mine some Lovakite ore. To mine Lovakite ore, you're gonna to need to have 30% or higher Lovakite house favor. You're also gonna to need to have a mining level of 65 or higher and you're going to need to have a pickaxe. Lovakite is found in the Lovacane west side in the Lovakite mine. Lovakite is these red rocks right here. Go ahead and mine the rock. And once you mine the ore, the task will be complete. For task number five, we need to plant some Lagavano seeds at the Tithe Farm minigame. This requires that you have 100% Hasidious House favor. 
as well as 74 or higher farming. If you don't have 74 farming, you can use booths such as garden pies. You'll need a garden pie to pick up the seeds and to plant it. You only need to plant the seed to unlock the task. So if you're under 74, go ahead and eat your garden pie. Search the seeds table, pick Lagavano, and then enter the game. It's like, yes, I know what I'm doing. And make sure you have a seed dipper. If you do not, you can talk with your tool leprechaun. And all you have to do is use Lagavano seed on tithe patch, and the task will be completed. For task number six, you're going to need to kill a zombie in the Shazian Crypts. Zombies are level 132, so you'll probably want to bring some decent armor. You should also bring a light source as it is dark down there. The fastest way to get to the Shazian Crypts is to teleport to the Heresy in History from your Caress Memoirs, then travel south. And once you get to the tomb, enter the crypt entrance. And then just to the north are two zombies that you can easily kill. Run over to them. Put some protections on. And all you need to do is kill one of them. And once you kill them, the task will be complete. For task number seven, you'll need to teleport to Xerix's heart using Xerix's talisman. Xerix's talismans are dropped by Lizardman and Lizardman Shaman. You also need to have at least one Lizardman Fang, as Lizardman Fanged are used as teleport charges. To unlock the Xerix Heart Teleport, you'll need to have completed the Architectural Alliance mini quest. This mini quest requires that you have 100% favor in all houses. Once you complete this mini quest, you'll have unlocked the Xerix Heart Teleport. So go ahead and use your Lizardman Fangs on your Xerix Talisman, and then rub it and select the Xerix Heart teleport option. Once you teleport to Xerix Heart, you'll have completed the task. Task number eight is to deliver an artifact to Captain Khalid. Captain Khalid is found in the Piscarelius house on the east side in the food hall. Stealing artifacts requires 75% or higher Piscarelius favor. You'll also need to have 49 or higher thieving, as well as a lockpick. Stealing artifacts is very similar to the Monkey Madness 2 docks and Sorcerer's Garden minigame, as there is patrolmen who will stop you and kick you out of the Fiskerelius house, if caught. Once you successfully steal an artifact, bring it back to Captain Khalid and turn it in. Once you turn it in, the task will be complete. I will now show you how to do the activity, as it's pretty challenging, and you'll see it in my next clip. Stealing treasure for Captain Khalid is actually pretty challenging, as it's very similar to the Monkey Madness 2 docks in Sorcerer's Garden minigame. On top of that, it also requires 75% or higher Piscarellius favor. There are six locations that Captain Khalid will send you to. They are on the screen now. In my opinion, the black, blue, and orange locations are the easiest to steal from, whereas the pink, green, and red ones are the hardest to get away from. If caught by a patrolman, you're kicked out of the house, you lose your loot, and you have to start all over. You also cannot teleport, otherwise your loot breaks, and you have to start all over. I will now show you my complete run that I did with Captain Khalid. All you have to do to start a run is talk to him, and he will tell you which house to go to. So you can follow the directions on screen here to see which house you have to go to for your tire, for your activity. Uh, but for mine, I'll show you which one I did.
For task number 9, we need to kill a worm in the Karum Slayer dungeon. The only requirement for this is to have 62 or higher Slayer. I'd also recommend that you bring some good combat gear. And I'd very highly recommend to bring some boots of stone or some granite boots, as the floor in here will burn you if you're not wearing these two items. And I'll show you what happens in the video. So head over to Mount Karum, and if you need to pick up some boots of stone, you can do so at the Slayer Master here or any other Slayer Master. And at Mount Karum, there's a dungeon. Uh, it's actually an elevator, so head down that elevator. And when you get down the elevator, head north, and then west, and there's going to be a block you need to climb over, and make your way to the worms. Start killing the worms, and once you kill one, the task will be complete. And there you have it, task complete. And if you're not wearing any granite boots or boots of stone, this will happen. So make sure to bring some boots of stone or granite boots. For our tenth and final task, we need to cast Monster Examine on a mountain troll south of Mount Quidamortem. Mount Quidamortem is found on the far west side of Zaya. And if you've never made it here before, you will have to travel through the Lizardman Settlement which includes Lizardman and Lizardman Shaman. So make your way to Mount Quidamorton and come to the south side. There is a bank if you need one. And come to where I am. Bring one Cosmic Rune, one Astral Rune, and one Mind Rune. You will also need to be on the Lunar Spellbook, which requires the completion of Lunar Diplomacy. And to use the Monster Examine spell, you will need to complete the Dream Mentor quest. To cast a spell, you'll also need to have 66 or higher magic. So, once you get south of Mount Quidamorton to where I am located, there are mountain trolls that we can find. Run a little bit to the south, and there are plenty of mountain trolls to cast a spell on. Go ahead and cast Monster Examine on Mountain Troll. And once you do this, the task will be complete. Once you complete all 10 tasks of the Kren and Cabo's Hard Diary, make your way back to Lise in the southeast corner of the Kren Castle Courtyard. Speak to Lise to unlock the reward. Upon completing the Kren and Cabo's Hard Diary, you will unlock Radis Blessing 3, which includes unlimited teleports to the Kren Woodland, three teleports to Brimstone every day, and a 6% chance to catch two fish at once with no additional experience. You'll also receive an antique lamp worth 15,000 experience in any skill above 50, as well as a Slayer Helmet unlock. And Slayer Helmets will now work as Shazian Helmets 5 after talking with Captain Cleave. There will also be a 5% increased yield from Hesidious and Farming Herb Patches. And you'll also receive 40 free diamond a day from Theris. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.